So I have four and a half pounds of clay here that has been wedged so all the air is out of it and it's at the right kind of moisture level to do what is called throwing on the wheel. Now I have that adhered to the wheel and I'm going to need to use water to uh, reduce the friction. My goal now is to get this in the middle to get it centered. And that kind of ties in with my experience with JTL. I been listening to JTL since the early 90s and really enjoyed listening to Tom Dooley listen to his program it used to be on two hours back then in the evening and uh, it was a big big uh, part of why I came to know the Lord as my Savior listening to his music helped uh, help me to get centered And what was important, I'm taking this up and down a little bit. This is called uh, wheel wedging. I'm getting that. It helps me to get it in the middle. By making it move, you just can't press on it to get it in the middle. It has to be, be moving. And I'm going to flatten this out into what kind of looks like a stack of pancakes and I'm creating the bottom making sure I have that compressed and not too thick not too thin one thing with a pitcher is you know, I'm going to put about you know, about two two quarts in this piece so when it's full of liquid that's a little bit thick on the bottom. When it's full of liquid, it's going to be fairly heavy. So you want to make sure, this is a piece that you want to make sure you make thin. So you're not adding extra, too much extra weight with the clay. I like to put a little decorative spiral in the bottom. And now it'll start to really change shape. We're going to do what's called a pull. Pushing in underneath with my thumb. Make it start coming up. And this is where it's really important the clay's in the middle. If it's not in the middle, if it's out of center, the piece will start to wobble. And you can't get it nearly as thin as you need to. And that still happens to me after <laughs> almost 30 years. So this is a good example of Jeremiah 18. I had a problem. There's an imperfection. But God can help us deal with our imperfections. He is the master potter. So you'll get an example of that. There may have been a little stone in there that caused that or an air bubble just the slightest air bubble can cause a tear like that just something you have to deal with it's just going to be a smaller picture and all this extra clay you see on my hands that i keep dropping over here i'm putting into a bucket that all gets reused recycled and in scripture it says that god wants us to stay like the clay on the potter's wheel and the reason for that is it's very flexible, willing to adjust. Okay, this piece tomorrow won't be that way. So we have to stay in tune with what God wants for our lives. This is called collaring. I'm just making that the neck of the pot come in a little bit. Put a little decorative edge on that. My fingernail. Now I'm going to go back in and I'm using an aluminum rib here that's pretty sharp. I'm just taking off the extra slip that's on the outside of the pot. 
that helps stiffen it up a little bit makes it a little easier to get it off the wheel when I go to pick it up plus it won't take as long to dry to put the handle on I like to have just a little bit of a throw mark up towards the top here so I'll go back in and add that in a little bit of dry cleaner plastic to smooth out the top pull my spout. Just squeezing that up between my thumb and index finger and it's important to have the right shape on the spout so it pours properly. I like to have that top edge out over the bottom edge so it cuts off the flow when you stop pouring. And now I have a little extra with the throwing process you leave a little extra clay down here so I'm going to cut that back out with my wooden trimming tool. Put a little decorative edge on here. A cutting wire here that will cut underneath. It allows me to get it off the wheel head. Pretty wet. Changes shape a little bit when you pick it up. I'm kind of squeezing it together. When I, a little trick drop this down if you drop it a little bit it goes back out so I'll take that piece this will sit here oh, probably four or five hours the heat's on today the kiln's on so it's, it's drying out fairly quickly uh, so as soon as this firms up enough that I can flip it over it'll get flipped over on this board so the bottom can dry out a little bit more and then tonight I'll uh, take a piece of clay and push it on to the, the back side here and actually pull off, pull a handle onto that piece. And you can see the piece over here is what the uh, finished product's gonna look like.